Hi, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this afternoon's class for Rehabilitative Strengthening Endurance Exercises, um, as well as the second half of today will be focused on upper body, um, upper body strength, um, upper body exercises, as well as some weight bearing exercises. Uh, so today, um, if you have um, a washcloth, um, that'll be helpful for the second half of today's class. Um, you're also going to need a table, um, a, a table or a hard surface in front of you um, to help you with the exor exercises for the second half of today. Um, if you don't have one, you can always pretend. Um, it just makes it a little bit harder um, not to have that surface to help you with some of the exercises. All right, so today's quote <clears throat> is, um, and for us, right, we just started a new year. So today's quote is, don't wait until you've reached your goal to be proud of yourself. Be proud of every step you take towards reaching that goal. Okay, one more time. Don't wait until you've reached your goal to be proud of yourself. Be proud of every step you take toward reaching that goal. Great. Right, so we want goals, right? We want to give ourselves um a goal for what we're trying to achieve, right? We, we want to get somewhere, right? We have an idea and we have that set for ourselves, but we know, you know, sometimes it's a short goal. Sometimes it's a long-term goal. So don't be proud of yourself just because you got to the end. Of course, you're going to be proud of yourself in that accomplishment and the hard work you put into it, but you need to give yourself credit along the way. Right? There's so many small pieces and small steps in order to get there that you need to be proud of every little bit that has gotten to you to that final goal. Because every bit is an accomplishment and you should celebrate. You should celebrate and you should acknowledge it and you should see the positive light, uh, uh, the positive um, side of how you're getting to your goal even if you may not be at that long-term goal yet. Right? So... Again, don't wait until you've reached your goal to be proud of yourself. Be proud of every step you take towards reaching that goal. All right, with that, let's go ahead and start our exercises. Uh, so again, we always start with um, our same set of rehabilitative strengthening um, and endurance exercises. Um, pay attention to your body and listen to your body and what your body is ready to handle for the day. We know that your body is different every day. Uh, some days are better, some days are not. So respect your pain, right? Don't don't push your body point of, past a point where you're going to be pain. Have pain. Um, be safe. Be stable. Right. And most of all, just um, thank you for being here, and we're glad you're here in our class. And everything you do is just going to help you move towards your goal, right? Even if it's small steps. That's still moving you towards your goal because that's forward. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, first, uh, let's go ahead and start with some deep breaths. Um, I am sitting on the edge of the chair and I have my feet flat on the floor and I'm going to have an upright posture, straight back. So let's take a few deep breaths first. Breathe in and out and in and out and in and out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Our first exercise is our neck extension and flexion. towards the ceiling and down towards the floor.
do our side flexion. So right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Okay. So remember to keep your shoulders relaxed and down and not pulling your shoulders up. Okay. You want to keep those shoulders relaxed. Make sure you still have that upright posture. All right, you're holding your back up. Great, next we'll do our shoulder rolls. I started going backwards for some reason first today. I think normally I start going forwards, but today we're going to start going backwards. Okay. All right, if both is difficult, you can always just do one at a time. Okay. But do try to be equal on both sides. Make sure you roll your shoulders in the other direction. So now I'll roll my shoulders forward. Alright, next uh, we'll move into our shoulders. Okay, so we'll do shoulder flexion. Okay. Right, so always just respect your range. Right? If you are only able to go this far, that's fine. Right? You just want to go as far as you can in your range of movement. Okay. Right, so you can just do the motion. Right? And if you wanted to challenge your muscles, you're just going to pretend like you are pushing something up into the ceiling and then pushing it into the ground. You can always just support right, and assist with those strength. Right? Lift those together in different ways to lift your hands together. Whatever works best for you and your body and whatever modifications and adaptations work best for you.
right, so we're going to move down to our next joint, um, away from our body, through our arms, so into our elbows. Okay, so next you want to do bicep curls and extensions. Right. So you can always just pretend to squeeze extra hard up to your chest and then push down into your knees. Okay. Push down into your knees and squeeze up to your chest. Next, we'll move into our, our wrists. Okay. So we're going to wrist. Uh, next, we'll move into our fingers, right? So um, this time we'll do a position. So you're going to take your uh, thumb and touch each fingertip, right? As you do that, you're going to try and squeeze each fingertip to your thumb as you go through each finger. Okay, all right, go ahead and let your fingers relax and your hands. Next, let's move into our leg exercises. So first, uh, we're going to lift our right leg and make a, a circle with your leg and go in the same direction with your ankle. So we're just making circles with our leg and our ankle. So you can always bend your knee and make that circle. Okay. You can make a small circle. You can make a big circle. Okay. You can make fast circles. And you can make slow circles. Okay. So whichever style you choose and whichever form of circle, you need to try and keep it the same through the entire circle. All right. So if you're making a fast circle, then the whole circle should be fast, not fast, faster, fast, faster, right? Uh, you really want to make sure that you are consistent with your speed uh, through the entire motion. Okay, go ahead and give that a second. Now we're going to do the same leg, except you're going to make a circle in the other direction. Alright, so when you're ready, go ahead and lift your leg, right leg, 
and start your circle in the other direction. Maybe now's a good time for a deep breath. Just one. And out. I maybe needed just a little more break there. <laughs> Legs kind of tired today. So always, you know, if you need a longer break, feel free to take a break, get a drink, take some deep breaths whenever you feel like your body needs it. Um, you don't have to wait for me. So, right, just pay attention to what your body needs. All right, and... You know, you would make sure that you're not over fatiguing um, and just, you know, watching your exertion, you know, within your limits. Okay, left leg now. Go ahead and get your left leg up and start those circles. Get a little rest. We still have to make those circles, but in the opposite direction. So when you're ready, all right, go ahead and start, lift your left leg, and make those circles in the other direction. If you can, also make sure you include your ankle in the same direction, and making those circles with your ankle as well. to lift your knees as high as you can. Make sure you're pulling in your core and you have a straight back. Okay, and you're just gonna march in place and lift your legs as high as you can. Try and keep your movement slow. Right? You don't wanna rush through the hard parts. So instead of up and then down slowly, you really want to come up slow and down slow. All right, really the key is same speed for the entire motion, all the way around start to finish. Okay, not fast up and slow down, or slow up and then fast down. Okay, we really want to make nice, slow, and controlled for the entire motion because that's what's really going to push our muscles to really work, work, work. Right? Since we're focused on strengthening and endurance, that's what we want. Okay, so really work your muscles, work them slowly through the whole motion. Right? Keep your concentration and don't let it get the best of you and just speed up. And we naturally want to speed up for the part of the motion that gets hard. Okay. So when we lift our legs, we're working against gravity. So that's the part where we're more tempted to use some momentum and just go fast. But resist that 
and try and go slow too in that part. Okay, next we're going to do our core hold. Right, so you lift your legs, keep your um, core tucked, right, and your core tight, your abdomen tight, and keep a straight back. Lift your legs, hold out your arms, and you're going to hold that as long as you can. Alex does like three of those, so maybe not three, but let's do one more, right, when you're ready. Okay, go ahead, bring up your legs, hold out your arms, and we're going to hold it. to bring our thumb around in a circle and follow it with our eyes. Okay, just put your thumb, bring it around in a circle, keep your eyes on your thumb as you make a circle. You want to make the biggest size circle you can. If you have to make a small circle, that's fine. And also be aware if you are hurrying up any motion with your thumb and your eyes, okay, because it's muscle just like anything else. Go ahead and close your eyes and relax your hand. Uh, we still need to do our circles in the other direction, so I prefer to change arms, um, but you can do whatever you like. Uh, the same arm, right, so this time we're going to hold up our thumb and we're going to make a circle in the opposite direction, okay, but keep our head still. When you're ready, go ahead and put your thumb up and open your eyes and make that circle in the other direction. Go ahead and close your eyes and let your hand relax. Our next vision exercise, we're going to hold our thumb still. Only this time we're going to move our head as we keep our eyes on our thumb. And we're going to move our head side to side. When you're ready, go ahead and put your thumb up. Open your eyes. 
Keep your eyes on your thumb as you move your head side to side from the right to the left. Breathe. Doesn't hurt to be really conscious of your eye movement and thinking about how your eyes are moving and keeping track of your thumb as you move your head side to side. and close your eyes and let your hand relax. We have one more eye exercise. This time we're going to keep our thumb in front of us and we're going to move our head up and down as we keep our eyes looking at our thumb. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and put your thumb up, open your eyes, and move your head up and down, but make sure that you are still keeping your eyes on your thumb. Go ahead and let your, close your eyes, let your eyes relax, let your hand relax. Okay. Uh, next we have our mouth exercises. Okay. Alright. Uh, first, we like to go ahead and massage our cheeks and our jaw. first mouth exercise is to open our mouth as wide as we can. Uh, I like to have you slow down your movement, so either go in slow motion as you move and open your mouth and close your mouth, um, or you can just hold the position um, somewhere in the middle as you're opening your mouth as wide as you can or as you're closing your mouth. Uh, so um, I'll demonstrate, right, so just um, either slow motion Or you can try and hold the moment, uh, hold the movement somewhere in between um, fully open and fully closed. So, but still go slow through um, the rest of the motion. And obviously it doesn't have to be quite like that. Um, it feels awkward because we're used to just doing the motion as one big smooth motion. But since we want to work on strength and endurance, pausing it at some of those different points in the motion um, definitely challenges our muscles and our brain um, to think and be a very intentional in controlling the motion. Okay, one more. Okay. 
Alright, our next mouth exercise is to smile as big as you can. Um, same idea, go slowly through the motion on the way to and on the way back to neutral. Um, and hold it um, in different positions to really uh, just make those muscles work a little harder at different parts of the motion, not just at the biggest or at neutral. Next, our exercise is for our tongue. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> All right. Um, tongue, okay. Uh, back and forth, so side of your mouth to the other side. Um, if you'd rather just push up your cheek on the, on the right and then push up your cheek on the left, that's fine too. Or you can just do corner of your mouth. Um, then we need our tongue, our tongue up and down, so try to touch your nose and then try to touch your chin. Next one we do for for our mouth exercise is to frown and then swallow. Alright, that is it for our uh, first half of today's class for our rehabilitative strengthening um, and endurance. So we will go ahead and move on to our upper body exercises. Um, so I just need to set up the table. Um, let me move this up just real quick.
good. Okay. All right, so this is where it's helpful if you have a table. Um, if not, um, you can just imagine you have a table um, and still do the same motions. So uh, the watch pass just makes it a little easier uh, for us to do the motion. Um, so the first one we're going to do is um, we're basically going to make a W. So we're going to slide forward as far as we can, bring it back, bring it forward as far as we can reach and push, come back, and then go out to the side. So I am just going to retrace my W, going back to the other side. So this is helping with our shoulder, our scapula, our shoulder blade. Okay. And this is just helping to get it loose um, and helping us do work uh, with the rest of our arms. So it's just a nice rhythmic motion. Sometimes it can help your tone um, and can help, in, help loosen up um, if you have high tone um, and your muscles are very tight. Okay. Uh, next, we're also just going to go side to side. Okay. So, just sliding across the table as far as you can reach. Right. I'm kind of limited to the size of my table, um, but you want to go as far over. Okay. Right. If you don't have a table, that's just what we'll do. Right. You're just going to overlap. And you're just going to go ahead and do the motion. Okay. So that would be the motion that you're doing um, if you are uh, unable to have a table and a solid surface in front of you. Okay. All right. If you have the washcloth, right, you're just going to be sliding side to side. All right, uh, the next exercise, so you can either keep using the towel, that will help, excuse me, that will help it slide, um, or you can use a water bottle, mine's kind of large, um, or you can use kind of a combination, okay? All right, now, when we do these exercises, you wanna make sure you're not compensating with your shoulders, so um, I will show you what you're not trying to do, well, let me show you the exercise first. Let me start with that. Okay, so the exercise we're going to be doing um, is just to bring uh, our water bottle in a circle. Okay. Okay. So what you don't want to be using is your shoulders. Okay. We don't want to be using our shoulders. Okay, to get that movement with our arms. So even if you're only able to do a small circle, but we keep our shoulders still, that is our goal, right? Because that means next time, right? Next time our goal can be a little wider circle, a little further away, right? Okay. So the goal here is to make as wide of a circle and to push away from you as far as you can without lifting up those shoulders. Right? You want to keep those shoulders down. Right? Okay. Um, if you don't want to use a water bottle, it's fine. You can just lace your hands together on the towel, right? and that will make it slide easier on the table. Okay. Again, keep those shoulders relaxed and down and back. Right, as you make your circle, right? Maybe it's a small circle. Maybe you can make a large circle, right? But you don't want to be hiking up your shoulder to compensate for the motion, right? Okay, so just keep that motion, right? My core is engaged, I have a straight back. 
Okay, I'm also going to make sure I do a circle in the other direction. I'm not going to be very equal because I spent too much time talking through that first one. <laughs> okay, but same thing, right? I don't want to be using my shoulder to make that motion happen, right? Even if it's small motion, right? Or even if you're just a little bit illegal and you can't get that circle, that's okay, right? We just want to move from having that motion in our shoulders to really move that, move that here. Yeah, and kind of like how we did our leg exercises, right? We just wanted to make a circle in the opposite direction to make sure that we're balancing out our muscle groups <clears throat> so that we're not just working our muscles in one direction um, or strengthening in just, uh, since our muscles come in pairs, not just half of the pair, right? We want to exercise the whole group that's responsible for the movement at the joint. Okay? All right. All right, so next, um, you might want to use your towel um, underneath your elbows on the table. Um, I'm just going to unfold mine because I know the table's kind of hard. All right, you're just going to put your elbows up on the table. Okay, and we're just going to do a bicep curl. Okay, um, if possible, you can lean forward into your elbows and get some weight into your elbows. Uh, but I know it's kind of hard and that kind of hurts. So. Um, as long as your core is engaged and you've got a straight back in your upright position. Right. And do some bicep curls if you need to support. Okay. Support your arms. All right, so the next exercise um, is uh, we are working on our rotators. So essentially, you're going to pretend like your elbows are glued to your side. So bring the elbows in, okay. and then you are going to open up your arms to the side and bring them into the middle. So almost like you're holding the sides of your jacket, and you are just opening your jacket. Right. Right. Or you can similarly imagine that you're opening a door, maybe. Okay. Right. Right. The important part is trying to keep our elbows tucked to our side. Right. Um, it is not a very big movement. Right. It is not very far. Right. We're not. You're not going further because then you start compensating with the rest of your body. Okay. So you should be able to fold into your body open so that you're pointed out, and then just a little bit past. Further than that is pretty difficult, okay? So it's not a big range of motion, okay? Right. Um, if you are supporting, right, you can help with one side. Okay. But you're trying to make sure you're tucking that elbow into your side. And with your other side. Okay, so your weaker side, right? You want to keep that in as much as you can, and then you're just going to bring it towards your body and bring it out.
you're able, this is what that movement looks like. Um, next, we're going to do some weight bearing on our elbows. So again, you might want your washcloth um, underneath your elbows, uh, just because that's pretty hard um, on your elbows there. <clears throat> so you're going to get close to the table. Okay. You're going to put your elbows there. Um, on. I, I'm going to put it on my washcloth. Right. And you're going to put, you're going to keep your elbows down. Uh, you keep your forearms on the table, sorry. All right. Um, and I'm going to have to stand up a little in order um, to get enough weight on the table, right? So I'm going to lean, right? And you should feel the weight go through your elbows and up through your shoulders. Right? I'll show you from the side. So what you really want is you want it to be a straight line between your elbow, sorry, your elbow. Um, and your shoulder. Okay, so as you're leaning into that, um, and it might be easier for you to stand. Okay, um, but just make sure you're safe. I, if you can, um, if you can't do that, then it's fine just to stay seated in your chair um, and just lean forward as you can. Okay, but you want to make kind of a straight line between your elbow up through your shoulder, and you really want to put weight through your elbow, um, especially if on your affected side. If you can, you want to reach out and take turns reaching and shifting your weight. Okay. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like from the front. Okay. And again, if you're seated, right, and all you can do is just push up like that, that's fine, right? So you're just going to reach forward and you want to just get some weight through your elbows. Okay. Um, if it's too much to reach and you can just lean on your elbows and just hold it, okay. Try to hold it for a count of maybe 10 or 15, and then you can relax. So hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then go ahead and sit back. And then do another rep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then go ahead and relax. Okay? All right. So uh, weight bearing is gives our joint sensory input um, to our brain. So besides the five senses, um, you know, see, hear, smell, touch, taste, right? We also have the sense of pressure in our joints, um, and that is the signal we want to send to our brains um, just to um, help with movement and help with that sensation and knowing that. Uh, the joints are there and that the joints are working. Okay, all right, our next, um, our next exercise, um, use a water bottle. So with your weaker side or your affected side, right, um, you are going to try to push the water bottle um, side to side. Okay. So what you need to be careful of is not to use your shoulder, right? So um, with your affected side, okay, you want to keep that shoulder down, okay, right? So instead of instead of this, so I'm really using my whole shoulder. I really want all the motion to come from uh, beneath my shoulder, right? right? So I'm going to keep my shoulder down, right? and I'm just going to scoot my water bottle over, then I'll hook around 
and scoot it back. Okay? So we need to keep that shoulder relaxed and down. Okay? Right? Even if I'm able to just nudge or even just put pressure on it, okay? that's fine. You're just working on that control right? and trying to get some of that movement here. If that's all you can do, then be proud of the small steps, right? Remember the quote, right? Don't be just be proud of yourself because you got to the goal, but be proud of yourself for every small step on the way. Okay. All right. So again, you don't want to compensate, right? All right. You want to keep that shoulder down, right? We don't want to. Right? We really want to kind of make that movement happen, not through my shoulder. Okay. So just a couple more. Once you're done with that, okay. um, now we are going to take our affected arm okay, um, or our weaker side and now we're going to try and push and just push it forward as far as we can go. Right. So we're not using our shoulder. So again, if we watch the shoulder, we're going to keep that shoulder down. And Bring it back and keep that shoulder down. Okay. And again, if it's just a small movement, that's okay. All right? So what you don't want is to let the shoulder up. Right? You don't want that shoulder to come up right? and the movement to be from our shoulder. We want to isolate the movement through our other joints. Okay, so we're really concentrating on getting that movement here. Okay, and then you can bring it back with your hand. Okay, and if you're able to just, just a nudge, okay, just a nudge is fine. Okay, just a nudge. Okay, as long as the movement is not here, right? Because then it's my shoulder. Right? We don't want our shoulders to drive the movement. Right? We want we want to work on that movement from our other muscles. Hmm? All right. Okay. After that, let's go ahead and do uh, one arm push-ups. Right. So. Um, here, first you're going to put your weaker arm, right, with palm down on the table. Okay, you put your other hand on top. You're going to lean forward with your chest, and then you're going to slowly push yourself back up. Okay. So you're just doing a push-up, except we're just doing it from the height of a table. So really, this is that push up here. I'll go to the side, that's a little easier to see. So I'm gonna put my weaker arm first, my other hand on top. I'm gonna to lean over and then I'm going to push my chest up. Okay. Right. And so that's just giving more input uh, into your wrist, into your elbow, a um, little bit into your finger joints. Right, You're just getting a little more weight through here um, and to feel, right, to feel that through your hand, through your wrist. If you can 
um, hover over your arm, you're going to get a little more out of the exercise. But if you have, to, if you're just seated in your chair, right, and you're just pushing your torso up straight, okay, and you're really pushing hard against the table, then that movement is just as good, right? So um, you choose um, the movement um, and the motion that your muscles can handle um, to build up your strength and to work on those upper body muscles. Okay, all right. Um, we're gonna do um, just a little stretch, basically, um, for our wrist. Okay, okay. so really you're just going to stretch your wrist with your the back of your hand towards the table. Okay, this looks like. Okay, you're just gonna stretch. And then stretch towards you as well. Okay, so stretch it away. And stretch it towards you. Okay. Try to get both hands. And the last movement we have um, is a very, very small movement. Um, we basically, right, we did bicep curls and um, we basically did wrist curls. So now we're really doing finger curls. <laughs> um, I think that's my favorite way to think about it. So with the uh, back of your hand on the table, right, you're just curling your fingers up and straightening them out. And if you have a water bottle, right, really you're just taking it from the edge of your fingertips and rolling it up into your palm. Right. So you can tell by the movement of my water bottle, um, it is not a very big movement at all. And yours. Right? And if you aren't able to get full movement or any movement, right? it's just visioning, right? Just visualizing that movement, right? Visualizing that curl, right? And seeing that movement happen and visualizing those muscles, right? And thinking about those muscles and making those muscles move is what just you're envisioning. Right, so that is going to do it for today's exercises. Um, thank you so much for joining our class um, and being here with us this afternoon. Uh, always remember every day, well not every day, but we have our 10 o'clock class for stretching and mindfulness, and we have rehabilitative strengthening and endurance um, in the afternoons at one o'clock. Um, thank you for joining us, and we hope you have a good day. Thank you.